what's up you guys welcome back to the channel if you're a car enthusiast or you love an underdog story today's video is the one for you we're diving into the world of the ka24 de engine now what's so special about this engine well let's just say it comes with its strengths but it also has its downfalls so buckle up because we're about to go for a ride First off, let's talk about what sets this engine apart. The KA24DE is a 2.4 inline four cylinder power plant. It was introduced back in the late 80s. This engine has gained a reputation as a solid platform for builds, especially for those of you looking to turbocharge or modify for more power. Now let me show you this beefed up version of this engine we got here today. Check this out. Fully built Eagle rods, Wiseco pistons, BC cams. Do you feel the excitement? I know I do. You wanna talk specs? Shoo! This setup is pumped for performance. And to handle all that juice, we got a full DW system, an ECU Master EMU Classic, and a Wiring Specialties engine harness. You could toss on a powerful Pulsar Turbo as well, and you're in business. The power potential is pretty crazy. But hey, we all know that no engine is perfect. Let's dive into the strengths first because this engine has a lot to offer. Strength number one, reliability. These engines are known for their durability and can withstand a lot of power without falling apart, especially when built correctly, like this beauty right here. Strength number two, aftermarket support. You're never gonna find yourself stranded without options. Tons of companies are making goodies for the KA, so if you want to upgrade or beef it up for racing. Strength number three, simplicity and modification. With the right parts, this engine can be modified pretty easy. We've added a competition clutch and a lightweight flywheel, which makes for a super responsive setup. And let's not forget about the tuning potential. With the ECU Master EMU Classic we're using, you can dial in exactly what you need, whether you're everyday cruising or you're chasing down those track numbers. Now I know what you're thinking. Before we get too carried away, it's time to talk about the other side of the coin, the weaknesses of the KA24DE. So weakness number one, stock power output. Straight out of the factory, this engine isn't gonna knock your socks off. You really do need to invest in some upgrades to see the true potential of this KA. Weakness number two, oil consumption issues. If you end up with a higher mileage KA24DE, you might notice it's not shy about losing oil. So regular checks and maintenance are a must. And then there's the infamous valve cover leak. Ugh. Nothing like a little oil seepage to ruin your day. It's a pretty easy fix, but it's definitely one that you'll encounter. And lastly, we can't ignore the weight of a KA. It's not the lightest engine around. And if you've ever tried swinging an engine hoist, you know what I mean. If you're trying to save weight for your drift car or your street beast, you might want to keep this in consideration. So there you have it. The Nissan KA24DE, a powerhouse with its quirks along the way. Whether you're building a project car, tuning for performance, or just getting into the automotive world, this engine has something to offer. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for more automotive goodness. Leave us a comment below. What modifications are you planning for your KA24DE? Until next time, keep it boosted and have a good day. Oh, 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 oh,